Okay, let me give you a quick update on the iPad Pro version 4 versus version 5, the, you know, version 4 in the M1 chip version 5. Um, I got it yesterday and um, I still have bugs. Um, so Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom, I think, you know, that is the biggest issue here versus the chip. Um, it is a little faster. Um, it the bugs don't happen quite as often, but they still do happen. And yeah, so I'm, I'm both happy and sad. I'm happy that, you know, for people that have the older iPad Pros, they don't have to worry that, you know, the, the programs aren't going to work correctly. Um, it, that's still left to be seen because we have bugs on both of them, um, which, you know, at this point, I think Adobe should be a lot further. Now I realize there's Affinity Photo, um, there's other you know, programs that you could be using, and I love Affinity Photo, I think it's great, but I, I, I don't like the workflow with it. I like going from Lightroom into Photoshop and back to Lightroom. I love that workflow. Um, I love retouching with Adobe Photoshop on the iPad, um, which reminds me, the iPad M1 12.9 uh, inch, that screen for editing, I, I don't know what other reviewers were saying that you really there's not much of a difference, but when you're editing photos, there's a huge difference. It's it is night and day different. Um, I absolutely love it. Uh, so for that alone, I would upgrade to the M1. Um, you know, can you still edit on the older iPads? Absolutely. I've been doing it for quite a while. Um, you know, it's, I I just wanted to show you this. This is um, some of the work that I do. I do look books for companies uh, for their clothing lines and so forth and. You know, this is seasonal, like, you know, three, four times a year with with many companies. And I literally shoot from the X-Pro into the iPad to the company, and I have no issues, and quality is fantastic. Um, but I love editing on this. I like sitting in front of the TV uh, rather than behind my desk watching a movie and editing. It's <laughs> that's it's just heaven for me. Um and, I, and I'm loving the Fuji system because, you know, it's more like film than it's ever been. So anyway, um, you know, what, what it comes down to is um, I, I, I'm hoping Adobe catches up, um, you know, period with their software and, and fixes these bugs. I know there was an update last night that, you know, made it just a little bit better. Um, it was a little smoother editing on the new M1. Uh, originally, they allocated five gigabyte per app and now I from the updates I'm seeing that they're letting apps use a little bit more uh, RAM if they need it um, so that does help um, now I have a shoot today so I'm gonna load you know the shoot right into the iPad M1 um, to edit and you know to you know, Photoshop and then back and I will let you know how that is um, you know because this update um, Remember, I was downloading from the cloud all the data from Lightroom, and when I did try to open up in Photoshop, it had to download from the cloud um, and then, you know, open. So, you know, that may have slowed it down a little bit, um, but I don't think it would be the cause of the bugs. Anyway, I'll give you an update as soon as today's shoot's done, um, sometime tomorrow, and hopefully I can get some uh, photos. I'm going to be using the 33, so I'm excited about that. I'm going to be using the, the 33 in the studio for a full shoot. I just want to see... Um, how well it does. I used it at a event the other day um, and it was fantastic. So I'll show you the 33 um, tomorrow uh, from stu for the studio shoot today. Anyway, that's the update on the iPad M1 versus the version 4. Um, you know, I'm sorry it wasn't more definitive, but I'm, again, I'm happy that uh, it's not related, uh, it's more related to Adobe fixing their issues than the iPad itself. Uh, so have a great day, and um, I hope this helped a little bit for M1. But the screen is amazing. Honestly, it is. It's amazing. Uh, thanks anyway. Bye.